What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It is that time of the month where we go to different fast food places and we try all of their new menu items. Let me tell you something. For March, there were so many new fast food menu items being released. I didn't know what to choose for today's video because everything looks so good. But I basically just narrowed it down to what looks the most interesting and most importantly, what looks the most delicious. For example, everyone has been talking about the Little Caesars Crazy Puffs. And let's not forget about the crumble cookie carrot cake. I'm telling you, everything sounds so delicious. So if you guys are excited for today's video, drop a like, subscribe, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, guys, I just got here to Little Caesars. I order both kinds of crazy puffs. I got the cheese and the pepperoni, so let's go pick them up. We got the crazy puffs. Okay, so I got the cheese and I got the pepperoni. If only you could smell this right now. Like I could smell the garlic, the cheese, the pepperoni. Mm. I also got a big cup of the crazy sauce. Let's go ahead and let's open the first little. <gasps> Ooh. Ah. These are fresh out of the oven. Wait, where's the pepperoni? Hold on, I need to look online because I think I got both cheese. So these here are the pepperoni crazy puffs. It's a four handheld pizza puff with mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and pizza sauce topped with a buttery garlic flavor drizzle with Italian herb and Parmesan seasoning. The pepperoni is inside, in the center. That's why I can't see the pepperoni on top. Then you have the cheese and herb crazy puffs, which is the exact same thing except without pepperoni. So first, let's try these. Let's just get these out of the way. First, let's just try it with no crazy sauce these are literally right out of the oven these look so good you know what you already know me we gotta cut this down the middle so you can see what's in here i think this might be the cheese one because there's no pepperoni in here but look at the cheese pull wow this is so good guys Adding it into the crazy sauce just like takes it to another level. I can see why people love this. I wonder if these are here for a limited time or if they're here to stay. Because honestly, I feel like these are way better than a pizza at Little Caesars. I think it's because they're so small. They have so much flavor. They're so crunchy. The cheese just like melts in your mouth. The dough is so soft. It's delicious. Let's try these. I think these are going to be the pepperoni ones i hope they are am i tripping or there's no pepperoni in here Bruh. i think they forgot to put pepperoni in mine but again we have to dip it in the crazy sauce these are definitely the cheese ones these are good but they're not as good as the pepperoni ones isn't it crazy guys how after the pandemic after like 2020 people eating in their cars is like such a common thing now like i'm looking around the parking lot and everyone is eating in their car i honestly think it's a vibe to eating in your car last bite mm. Mm hmm Final thoughts on the Crazy Puffs. Absolutely love them. So I'm going to go ahead and rate the Crazy Puffs a 10 out of 10. Not sure if you guys know this, but Popeyes has a new flavor for their wings. Right now, you can only order the honey lemon pepper through online or through the app. But after April 1st, it's available for everyone. So like I said, the flavor is honey lemon pepper. I tried to find a description online, but I couldn't find one. All I know is it's supposed to taste like honey, lemon pepper, and also a little bit spicy so i did place my order already through the app so let's go pick it up i see this sign it says honey lemon pepper new flavor <gasps> shut up they have a strawberry cheesecake it's limited time have i tried that strawberry cheesecake before mm. hi i placed an online order for lupita for who? lupita thank you Cut the window, please. thank you I got scared for a minute. She said, I was like, I just realized that I didn't get any ranch. So I don't know if it automatically comes with the sauce on the side or if I was supposed to get ranch. Okay, it smells sweet. It smells like butter. But let's try these wings. Let's try these Popeyes new honey lemon pepper wings. <gasps> yes! I got a ranch. I got a ranch. First look at the wings. What are they looking like? 
The lemon flavor is definitely there. I can smell it. It almost smells like vinegar. I was expecting it to be a little bit more like, you know, saucy. It almost just looks like oil. Yeah. Give it a try. Cheers. Okay. Bruh. Definitely a little bit sweet. The lemon flavor is there. There's a tiny bit of spiciness in there. From like a 1 to 10, like a 0.5. I can taste the honey as well. Uh, uh. It's like I like it, but I don't like it. Like it's, a, it's an acquired taste. Let's try it with ranch. Maybe that would taste a little bit better. I know what this tastes like. This tastes like a lemon bar. Yeah, mm-mm. It's not for me, guys. Honestly, no. I was trying to like it, but I have to be honest. It's not my cup of tea. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm gonna rate these honey lemon pepper wings from Popeyes a three out of 10. If you guys have tried them, please comment down below. What are your thoughts on the wings? I wanna know. Okay, I get ready. Hello, I have a mobile order for Lupita. <laughs> What's the name? Lupita. Okay, second one. Thank you. We're trying the new Cantina chicken menu from Taco Bell. Let me tell you guys a little bit more about this new chicken that they're adding. It's the new Cantina chicken menu. It debuts a new flavored chicken that has been slow roasted, shredded, and packed with a savory seasoning of Mexican spices, including pasilla and other varieties of chilies. We're bringing freshness to the forefront with five new flavor ingredients uh, uh. and an additional to the brand sauce packet lineup, avocado verde the salsa it sounds delicious let's give it a try i got six items i got the chicken crispy taco i also got the chicken burrito chicken quesadilla and i also got the chicken bowl i'm just gonna take out things from the bag in no particular order let me give you a close-up of the salsa so you guys can see it and i believe this is the crispy taco do you see all of that sauce and the cheese let's try it It tastes exactly like the chicken quesadilla, except on a hard shell. It's the exact same sauce that they use in the quesadilla. Maybe we need some of this green salsa. Let's try it. I'm honestly not too impressed Ooh. by the taco. Like, it's good, but it's not like so good, you know? Now let's try the burrito. Let's cut it in half. Ooh, this burrito has cabbage, tomato, lettuce, chicken, and the sauce. Let's try it. Ooh, okay, now this burrito, this burrito is 10 times better than the taco we just tried. This has so much flavor. I did a little bit of the salsa. In my opinion, the burrito is better without the avocado green salsa. Just the way that it is. It also has a lot of cheese. It's so creamy, so saucy. I definitely like the burrito. I'm going to leave the bowl towards the very end. Let's try this quesadilla. <laughs> Here's a close-up so you guys can see. It just looks like a regular quesadilla. Let's see if it tastes any different or if it tastes the same. It honestly tastes the same to me as like the regular one. If anything, I feel like this one is slacking flavor compared to the original one. The chicken does taste a little bit different, but other than that, there's not like a drastic change of flavor between this quesadilla and the original one. Last but not least, let's try the bowl. I love the bowls from Taco Bell. They're so good. If you guys have never tried them, I feel like nobody really talks about them, but they're so fire. Close up of the bowl. You have rice, beans, sour cream, avocado, chicken. You also have lettuce and cheese. Let's just try to get a little bit of everything. Cheers. Let's add some of this salsa here so we can give it a fair shot. Hmm. I have to be honest, guys. I feel like the cantina chicken bowl tastes very similar to the regular chicken bowl that they already have in the menu. But I'm honestly kind of disappointed. I think the only thing that I really like was the burrito. The burrito, I will rate like a 9 out of 10. The rest of the things, I'll give it like a 5 out of 10. I mean, they weren't bad, but they weren't the best. They just tasted like the original chicken bowl, a regular taco, and a regular quesadilla. Things that they already had in their menu. Comment down below if anyone else feels like this because I'm very disappointed disappointed okay ladies and gentlemen we're going to be trying some crumble cookies we have carrot cake except this one is not a cookie it's an actual mini cake which this one is the one that i'm the most excited for then we're also going to be trying the strawberry pretzel pie and last but not least sugar candy eggs so let's go pick it up i 
have to admit, I'm a little bit sad. We were supposed to walk out with three boxes of cookies, but we only have two because I don't know if you saw, but the strawberry pretzel chilled cookie was completely sold out. I was not expecting that. I thought maybe the carrot cake will be sold out, but not the strawberry pretzel cookie. Like now I want to try it even more because that must mean that it's so good. Like people are loving it to the point where it's already sold out. So let me read to you the description. This is a carrot cake. It's two tiers of carrot cake mixed with coconut, pineapple, and carrots, then layered with a light glaze and vanilla cream cheese frosting and topped with chopped pecans. Ooh, that looks so good. Then you have the sugar candy eggs. This is a fluffy sugar cookie topped with a swirl of vanilla frosting and crunchy candy eggs on top. Close-up so you guys can see. I'm not a huge fan of sugar cookies, but we'll give this one a try. Mm. Okay, this is really good. It is a little bit too sweet for me. I feel like three bites maxed and I'm like done. Let's try it with the little egg. Nope. I definitely like the cookie a lot better by itself. I think I messed up by adding the egg here because it was too chocolatey. It was like extra sweet. I do like the flavor of the vanilla swirl frosting that they put on top. That one is really really good now what i'm the most excited for the carrot cake we shall try it here's a close-up took a little piece from there let's see what this carrot cake is all about this tastes like a legit carrot cake wow I think Crumble Cookie really realized their potential of making cakes whenever they did the Tres Leches. The Tres Leches, still, nothing can top by far the Tres Leches cake from Crumble Cookies because it was so good. You can taste the carrot, the bread is very soft, the cream cheese frosting is very good. I like that they added pecans on top for a nice little crunch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and rate the carrot cake a 7.5 out of 10. We made it to Sonic and I'm pretty sure everyone has been hearing about the Eclipse. Well, Sonic came out with a limited edition blackout slush float. This is a cotton candy and dragon food flavor slush with a soft serve of blue and purple galaxy sprinkles. And you also get a free pair of solar eclipse glasses once you buy the slushy float. So we're gonna go ahead and order it and hopefully it's good. Five minutes later. All right, here is the slush. Float. If we're being honest, it looks a little sketchy. I don't know how I feel about it. Do you see the sprinkles on top? I mean, it might be good. I also have my free pair of Eclipse sunglasses. Oh my god, I'm going to save these forever. These are actually super cool looking. I already have my solar Eclipse glasses. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but here where I live in Austin, Texas, we're going to be in 100% totality. So we're going to get such a good view of the solar Eclipse. First, I'm I'm gonna try it with the oh wait sometimes sometimes i'm like peter what is wrong with you this is a float like a root beer float that's why like the ice cream is on top here i'm supposed to mix it we're just gonna go in with the spoon because if not i'm never going to finish here oh this is like the perfect bite I grabbed the entire top layer of sprinkles. That's literally all I try right now, just sprinkles. Let me just dig my spoon in there deeper. There we go. That's more like it. I like this. I would have loved it without the sprinkles. I think the sprinkles are like an overload. Like they're just too much. I love the concept though. This is for the Eclipse. So like I totally get it what they're trying to do, which I really like. But flavor wise, if you want to try this, I'll say go ahead and try it. Just remove the sprinkles because I feel like the sprinkles are just a little too much. I can definitely taste the dragon fruit, which I like. It's like nice and refreshing. And then with the vanilla ice cream, it's like nice and creamy. With the sprinkles, I'm going to rate this a 6 out of 10. Without the sprinkles, solid 8 out of 10. We're going to try another little dessert. We are outside of a Wendy's because we're going to be trying their new orange dreamsicle frosty. I love how Wendy's is stepping it up with their like limited edition flavors for the frosty. Don't get me wrong, the chocolate and the vanilla. I feel like those are just classics. Like they're so good. But orange dreamsicle, like are you kidding me? Hopefully they have it because if not, I'm going to be so sad 
Uh, could I please get the orange dreamsicle frosty? Okay, that's me. Thank you. Okay, they did have the orange dreamsicle in stock. Yes, I'm so excited. Excited and so ready to try it. Let's try this orange dreamsicle. Look how tiny Aww. this small is. I love it. It's so cute. So from what I saw on the website, they just take their normal vanilla frosty and mix it with orange syrup. And that's how they end up with the orange dreamsicle. Cheers. Okay. Okay. It's good. The orange flavor is not too crazy, not too overpowering. I just wish there was a little bit more of that orange flavor in here because I feel like I can taste it, but not as much as I would want it to, you know, but it's still good, very creamy. But in order for it to taste exactly like the orange creamsicle popsicle, I feel like it needs a little bit more of that orange flavor in here, but it's still not bad. Final thoughts, I like it, but I don't love it. I'm gonna rate it a five out of 10. Apparently I've been living under a rock because I didn't know that you can get a strawberry frozen lemonade at Chick-fil-A. So apparently all you have to do is just order a regular frozen lemonade and then you just ask them to add strawberries to the lemonade and that's how you get a frozen strawberry lemonade. I did not know this. So let's go to Chick-fil-A, let's order it and let's try it. A few moments later. After waiting 30 minutes in the drive-thru, look what we finally got, the frozen strawberry lemonade. It smells it smells like a strawberry shake. That's literally what it smells like, but what does it taste like? Cheers. Mmm. Ooh, okay, this is actually really good. I can definitely taste the vanilla, the strawberry. It's a little sour because of the lemonade. I definitely thought it was gonna be a little bit more of like a slushy consistency, but I definitely love this. Mmm, this is so, so delicious. We are ending the video just right. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna rate this solid 9.5 out of 10. All right, guys, that was our last food item for the day. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you guys can get notified every single time that I post a new video. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah.